If you've ever wanted to tear up a first draft and cry and maybe thought about giving up on writing altogether, listen up. Most first drafts have at least one gem worth saving and today I'm going to help you pay attention so you don't miss them. I'm Nicole Bright, award-winning writer and creator of the Spark Your Story Lab, and I help writers craft their best work and share it with the world. If you've been part of my community for a while, you know how much I love to talk about unique ways to move past blocks and finish a strong first draft. But I don't often talk about the next important step, how to refine that first draft to get you closer to finishing a polished piece. Writer's revision is where the magic happens with writing, and today I'm really excited to share three tips to help you mine the gold in your early drafts. I believe the job of a first draft is just to open the door, inviting the creative brain to toss out some seeds that might feel insignificant but hold the potential for powerful storytelling. So let's get comfy, hit pause, grab a pen and paper, you're gonna wanna take notes. Here is my first tip for you, seek the heat. One of my most admired writing instructors, Betsy Warland, taught me this trick in a workshop. Read back your first draft, underline or highlight sentences that feel prickly with energy or heat. Do not throw out a draft without scanning for a line with heat first. You don't wanna lose the heat. You wanna find out what it, where that might take you next. Try writing one of your highlighted sentences onto a blank piece of paper, then write another line and another line going deeper, expanding. Ask yourself what else is there to explore, remember or turn over. Where there's smoke, there's fire. So stay open to where those warm sentences might lead and continue that practice with every draft. Read back for the heat, highlight, and write to find out what's hidden inside just waiting for you to unpack. Here's tip number two, stay open to surprise. One of the most exciting things that happens when writing is discovering something new and unexpected, especially about a story you thought you knew inside out. An interesting new thought rises to the surface or we make a connection that we hadn't made before. Often these discoveries only happen when we're in the writing process, not when we walk around ruminating on a story we want to write. Remember this, when you're feeling discouraged. It's worth it to keep showing up to write an imperfect draft because you never know what might happen. You can use that same highlighting technique here when something turns up in a draft that surprises you. Write that sentence on a, fr a fresh piece of paper and delve in a little deeper, go further, staying open and curious. You can also use mind mapping here as a way to generate more information that might enhance your story. If you've never used a mind map before, it's a tool that I love. I use it a lot in my teaching and in my own practice. You write a word in the center of a page, circle it, and then for every connected idea that you brainstorm, you draw a line out from that center, write each new thought down in its own bubble. You're creating like a hub and spoke gra graphic, capturing all those associated ideas, thoughts, images, or phrases that come up for you. Review that mind map or you guessed it, anything that feels prickly with heat, then delve further into the writing to see what else is there. My final tip for you is to look for an image. Read back your draft for vivid descriptions or standout nouns. Remember that imagery can refer to any of the senses, not just a visual. So are there any word pictures that describe a sound or smell or taste or touch? How could you develop that image further and make it more vivid? evocative or clear. If you're feeling a little bit lost in your first draft, remember that images are one of the most powerful elements of craft that we have for storytelling. They can even become the focus of a piece. So could that unforgettable hailstorm or lost barrette or the smell of your grandmother's chicken soup open, close, or hold together your work in progress if you made it the focus? So there you have it, my three techniques for going deeper into a first draft and finding the gems so you can polish them in revision. Seek the heat, stay open to surprise, look for an image. When you're feeling discouraged, I want you to remember one more thing. Some of your best lines wouldn't have been written if you hadn't written a lot of other lines first. Now, if you're keen to write better stories faster, I have an invitation for you. 
In a few weeks, I'm going to be hosting my second writing challenge, and I would love to see you there. In my five-day writing challenge, we're going to generate one 100-word story a day for five days. And if walking away with five new stories isn't sweet enough, there will be giveaways for qualifying participants. You can learn more and sign up in the description below. I hope to see you there.